Hi everyone, welcome to Bloomberg. In this video, we'll discuss about one add-in given by DRoots that is Para Manager. There are a couple of add-ins given by DRoots that we have already covered. So if you wanted to check those out, I'll suggest you to check those ones as well. So now in this video, we'll discuss about Para Manager add-in what it does, what are the features of Vera Manager, those kind of things we'll discuss in this video, okay? And so let's start uh, while creating a new project. Okay, so right now, let it open. Uh, there is one package given by DRoots that is, you can see DRoots 1. If I click on that one, there are a couple of multiple add-ins and all these add-ins are totally free given by DRoots. And those are quite awesome. Uh, those gives us to increase our productivity and uh, to, to, you know, to work as much accurate as we can uh, with this, with these, all those kind of add-ins. So I'll suggest you to use once uh, all these DI routes. This is not any kind of promotional video. That's all about my experience that I'm sharing with you. I have experienced very good uh, uh, while using these add-ins. Okay. So now I'll, uh, we'll discuss about this para manager. First of all, I'll create some uh, elements right there. So I'll click on AT shortcut command for A terminals. So one is for supply diffuser, one is for extract grill. Okay. So you placed two rabbit elements right there. That's for demo purpose. It's not all about that. We will go with the A terminals only. It's not like that. Okay. We can go in each and every element. <laughs> Uh, we can also use this add-in at the starting of the project, at the middle of the project, wherever you want to use this particular add-in. Now, what Paramet Paramanager does actually, as the name says, that is related to the parameters of Revit, of the Revit families. Yes, it can, uh, you know, create the multiple parameters in Revit, whether it's shared parameter, whether it's project parameter, doesn't, uh, uh, the, the, that, the, technicality we'll discuss in this video is about the shared parameters what parameters can do is that uh, it can create the shared parameters multiple shared parameters can add it those shared parameters can delete the shared parameters it can um, uh, create the fam family parameters as well we can fill the values of the family parameters we can extract .txt file from the Revit to txt format to a local drive as well uh, we can extract the uh, uh, shared uh, what we can share shared parameter file in excel format as well we can import our parameters excel parameters data to this one so that we can uh, you know add the parameters to this Revit project or we can extract the uh, shared parameter excel from this project so that we can use the same excel or same dot uh, txt file to another project as well all those kind of things we have in this particular add-in uh by using some clicks so we'll discuss all those kind of things as of now so let's start if i click on para manager right there this kind of pop-up will be open there are five tabs at the top parameters categories transfer families and shared added to as well we'll discuss each and every one in this video only. okay so let's start with parameters there are four tabs in parameters Add parameters, import, export, batch actions, and additional attributes. Okay, additional attributes is for uh, you know adding different different kind of uh, attributes if you want. Those are additionals as name suggests. Okay, so as of now, we'll start with add parameter right there. We can create multiple shape parameters right here. So if I click on this one, multi multiple clicking, it can create multiple shape parameters. Okay, now uh, if I go with one. I'll delete these three as of now so that we can briefly focus on one only. So batch action use to duplicate the same parameter multiple times or you can delete the multiple parameters at once. Okay, so I'll click on multiple parameters at once to delete. Okay, now let's start with batch actions only. Okay, so if I'll check that one, I wanted to duplicate the same one. Okay, that's one thing. First of all, uh, we'll go with this parameter and then we'll use the batch action command so that I can tell you the difference What is the difference uh, by clicking on add parameter command or the batch action duplicate command? Okay, so as of now for this parameter that I have uh, Created by clicking on add parameter. I can rename that one by double clicking on that one 
and we can change the discipline from right there as well uh, and which discipline I wanted to assign this particular parameter I'm going with common one so that we can assign uh, to each and every single category in Revit project uh, this parameter okay we can change the type of the parameter uh, whether it is text angle area currency whatever we want to make it okay we can go with the group as well I I hope you understand um, uh, the grouping and type of the parameters if you do not know I have already created a briefly described video on the parameters shared parameters global parameters family parameters you can check that out okay as of now uh, I can go with the identity data so it is identity data let me yes right there so it will show us uh, under this identity data group okay the type uh, of the parameter whether it is instance of type we can go with the instance so that we can see in the main property directly okay uh, so right now I have changed only this one let me change the type as well so that we can see the difference if I click on add parameters while creating a new project you can see that the group is text and the type is instance okay like uh, the, the instance or type will be instance only so uh, right now but what i want i want for example 100 parameters of this particular type okay this is the first one parameter one so whether i can do like that way and change these parameters one by one or i can check that one and go in batch action click on duplicate and now you can see this the copied one is has the same uh, values or same parameter values what we are assigned to this one okay so that is how uh, the difference in between add parameter and batch actions duplicate uh, parameters thing okay right now i'm deleting this bottom one because i told you the use of that one now uh, we have created these two parameters as of now there's one command uh, is left that is import and export thing okay there are four options inside that one first of all i'll go one by one so firstly we'll export this one to Excel. This these parameters I want to extract in Excel. So I'll go with these two parameters. I want to export and click on export. And I can give a name, any name. Right now I'm I'm not interested in giving the particular name. The purpose is what is the use of that one. So right now we have extracted. Do not go with this GUID because this is given by add in only. That's the default one. So do not focus on that one right now the name is right there the discipline is right there tax of those kind of things parameters that we have given uh these values that you can see from right here to right there i guess yeah categories we did not assign as of now so these all things are uh what we can see the attributes the additional attributes those are inside the you know the parameter uh, the add-in that I'll, I'll tell you about those in as well but those are additional uh, if you are not you know like with that one that will be fine okay so now uh, if for example if i want to add uh, uh, different parameters that i have in excel okay for example let me let me show you for example in excel also we can add the parameters right now i'm going with this one and again okay, this one so we have added this one but we need to change the name so what i'll do is perfect so we have added three four five six additional parameters okay and excel and i'll add those ones and drop it we can do that thing as well so i'll close this excel by after saving okay i'll go right there i'll import from excel and i'll select the excel open now three four five six hours okay right now you can see the values that we have put right there as well it, it will you know take all those things right there. now there are two more options as well uh export shade parameters or import shade parameters that is actually dot txt format so if i'll click on this one it will uh, uh, tell me that which parameters you want to export you can export right now we can select that under which uh, group you know that uh, the dot txt format works the shape parameter i'm talking about the shape parameter file works under parameters group okay so we can choose that group as well and we can export that one and uh, dot txt format as well 
and also the same thing we can import from right there okay now uh, we have covered all these four options uh, for the parameters now if I'll go with the categories definitely the uh, the parameters that we already created we did not assign a single categories for those ones right as as you can see in that excel as well the category column that uh, that we have seen as of now uh, the category column was empty so from right there we can assign the categories that to which category rabbit category uh, we we have to assign this particular parameter okay so I want to assign for all so I click on categories uh, I'll go right here choose group I'll go with all categories present in, uh, in the rabbit project that is 195 okay and click on okay let me go sorry for all categories fine we can go uh, for a specific categories as well if you wanted to go but right now I'm going with all uh, so that we can see all the all the parameters at once in a rabbit project okay otherwise you can go uh, as you want okay so let me sorry not for architecture okay, for all and for all. fine perfect so we applied uh, the all categories for each and every uh, parameter right there and we have given the parameters things as well now if I click on apply all the parameters are applied and now we can see all the parameters under identity data I guess or under text I'm not sure actually okay yeah some are under text and some are under identity data but right now I cannot see anything under identity data why it is so let me cross check okay 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 those are some type parameters right you can see those are type parameters 1 2 and 3 it means 0 1 0 3 and 0 5 we can find under type okay so 0 1 0 3 and 0 5 are under type and 0 2 4 6 will be under the instance parameters okay so we can find all those six parameters those we have created right there and now we can assign the values and those kind of things we can do right there. okay so uh, that's a brief idea about that uh, creating the creating the parameters by parameter now if i'll go with the the third option the categories we already discu uh, discussed and how we can assign the categories and yes definitely if you already created a uh, parameter right there and then you can also assign the category from right there as well after that if i'll go with the third tab that is transfer do not go with the name select the family right there at the right side extract grill okay this is the family that i've selected and all the parameters of this families are right there okay so for example i've wanted to create a different revit parameter revit family parameter uh, which has the same properties same same properties that has this grill height okay but the name will be different how i can do that thing i'll simply check that one box and click on modify and there will be this kind of pop-up okay i'll rename that one like what i want like for example i can add prefix suffix all those kind of things but as of now okay like let me add um, them at the beginning space and i'll add space good okay so and okay now you can see them guru is added right there and now i'll click on apply then there will be one additional parameter created now you can see parameters uh, parameter created successfully this is the family parameter now you can see right there these all are family parameters and that parameter will be it's not visible as of now right there let me show in the model i guess that is the type parameter you can see right there bim grill height good okay so we can find we can uh you know use the same parameter family parameter values and family parameter things to create a new family parameter that is why it is saying transfer okay because we are transferring all the configuration of a single parameter family parameter to to another one that we have created as of now okay 
Nafal one add in as well. Uh, we can rename that one. Uh, that one as well. Like for example, I wanted to rename the grill height. Then how we can do that thing? Double click on that one or click on modify as well. Sorry, I did not check that one. Oh. Yeah. Now for example, I don't want to add the fix a fix. I wanted to just rename this one or replace this one. For example, I I wanted to replace the grill by the okay. So that is also we can do. Okay. So that's fine as of now. I'll apply. Perfect. Now you got the idea about this one as well. Now I'll go with the another option that is families. Uh, what does it mean? Actually, uh, we can create the family parameters from right there, and we can you know assign the values of the family parameters as well. How we can do that thing? Check that particular family. Okay, click on add parameter. Now we have created this one parameter 001. That's family parameter. Or if you want to click, uh, you want to create the shape parameter, you can go with this one. But the shape parameter thing that I already told you. So I'll go with the family parameter as of now. Same thing, discipline, type of the parameter, group, and type or instance. The value also we can assign. Like right now, I'll go with the, uh, the value is in guru. Perfect. Now, the name, whether you want to change, for example, I'll go with EG. Okay. And I'll click on apply. Sorry, yeah, I need to check that one because this parameter needs to be visible in the rabbit. So, this parameter is created. Now, if I click on strict grill right there, EG parameter is right there, the value is then good. Okay. So, that is how we can create. Uh, the parameter and fill the value inside the parameter add-in only okay now what is the last option is okay we yeah there are there are the same option import export the features that we discussed with the parameters tab batch actions is also right there the same one modify we already covered okay now if I'll go with the shared editor shared editor uh, you know for example, right now you can see load sp file. sp means shared parameter file. If you have .txt file, okay, that you extracted from your idle Revit project, uh, and you want all those shared parameters to be inside this project as well, then you can click on load sp file. Like if I click on, and these are the uh, previous one that I have extracted from different Revit projects. So I'll click on this one, click on open. Now all the parameters those are those were assigned to that particular Revit project will be right there and we can add it those ones as well by clicking on this one mm -hmm. you can assign new GUID duplicate delete those kind of things we can do we can add it the parameters from right there as well and we can resave that dot text file. okay that's one thing also uh, we can add new parameters to this one and we can do whatever we want to do and we can save that one as well and we can again uh, load that sp file to this Revit project okay and also this this sp file can be imported from right there as well you can see in parameter tab and we can import the shape parameter file from right there so those all are options uh, that we have uh, whether it is shared parameter with this family parameter those kind of things we can do by just clicking some buttons okay so i hope you got you got the better understanding how you can uh, use the para manager for creating the shared parameters, editing the parameters, or uh, in, in a simple language, if I'll say, uh, to do anything with the parameters, we can use Para Manager. So, thanks for guys for watching this video. Let's meet in my next video.